Good morning, Desert Shadows, and happy Friday. Uh, we're finished with the first week of school, and we hope you've had a very enjoyable first week and have learned a lot. Ms. O'Boyle and I have sure had a great time. Yes, Mr. Hummer. It was so nice to finally have you all back to fill our classrooms. We know you'll learn amazing things here at Desert Shadows, and it's our jobs to make sure that happens. That's why we're going to take a few minutes to lay out some expectations for behavior. This will ensure that we can maximize the time spent on learning and minimize any distractions. And we'll start by addressing uh, prob probably the most distracting items that many of us teachers have seen in some time, and that is cell phones. We know that it's very tempting uh, to stay in touch with others, post pictures, and record some of the things around you, uh, but that takes away from the opportunities to learn and engage with real people. Cell phone use is allowed at Desert Shadows before school, during lunch, and after school. Uh, the phone must be turned off and put away for the rest of the day. Teachers and fellow students should not be able to see your phone in a place such as your back pocket. Please put your phones away in your backpack. We also do not allow taking photos or videos at school, as well as making posts to social media while you're here. Students all have different comfort levels with privacy, and we want Desert Shadows to be a place where students feel safe. Please do not take pictures at school. If a staff member sees this happening, you could receive disciplinary consequences. Also, making posts to social media sites is not allowed during the school day, picture or no picture. Posts about other students can be hurtful and cause unwanted stress or attention. So thank you for meeting this expectation. Another thing that we want to be clear with all of our students about from the start is a dress code. We expect that both boys and girls dress for success. And it's really very simple. Make good choices when getting dressed. And if you're unsure you might, uh, or feel like you might get dress coded, you probably just don't want to wear that item. Uh, your teachers have been instructed by me to send students to the office for suspected dress code violations. Uh, Ms. O'Boyle and I will make that determination when you arrive at the back office. We want to make sure that all young ladies and gentlemen are covering their bodies appropriately. This means that we don't want to see any private areas or private undergarments. Backs, stomachs, chests, and buttocks must be covered completely. Also, please do not wear shirts with inappropriate messages or suggestions. If you have questions or have feelings about the dress code, uh, please come and talk with Ms. O'Boyle or I directly. Uh, you'll see us at lunchtime, or if you want to schedule a meeting to talk about that, we can do that. Speaking of dress code, there is one part of your outfits that you may not have heard about until now, and that is lanyards. These are lanyards right here. And all students are going to get their pic when they get their picture taken next week are also going to get a lanyard to wear. So next Tuesday, August 15th, is picture day. And at that time, this, your, your ID and your lanyard are going to be a part of the dress code. Students who forget their lanyards will need to get a temporary ID for the day, which they can get in the media center. Students who lose their IDs will need to pay a replacement fee of $5 and have a new one printed in the media center. When losing or forgetting your ID happens too many times, students can expect consequences like lunch detention. So the lanyards are new and it will take some getting used to. We'll be talking about this more over the next few weeks. This year, in an effort to promote good study habits and proper nutrition, teachers will not be allowing drinks in their classrooms other than good old-fashioned water. That's right, please do not waste your time or money or health by purchasing, purchasing uh, the giant Dutch Brothers, Starbucks, Jamba Juice, Big Gulps, Circle K uh, drinks and bringing them to school. Uh, you will be asked to dispose of those before entering our buildings. Uh, we don't want them in the classrooms and it's good for our environment at Desert Shadows. Teachers and aides will be asking you to throw out those items before entering our building. There's just one more behavior we want to talk about this morning, and that is actually the selling of personal items to other students. Under no circumstances can students sell goods on campus, either for money or favors. This includes the sale of food and beverage, toys, clothing, or even making bets. Don't do it, and if you see it, please help us and report it. Reporting. Thank you, Ms. O'Boyle. You brought up a very good point. We have several systems in place uh, for students to report if they have a problem at school or are uncomfortable in a specific setting, 
or with others. Uh, we are available during lunchtime. Feel free to approach Ms. O'Boyle or I if you feel like you have a concern about campus or your safety in some way. Uh, you can tell a teacher. You can also report anonymously by leaving a note on a teacher's desk or under a door. On our website, there is an anonymous tip line in which you can record your comments and will not be tracked. We want you to address your problems. School safety is a responsibility of all students, teachers, and administrators too. So let's all be a part of the solution and if you have problems, bring them to the front so that we can get them solved. Great. Well, I just want to welcome everybody back again. It's been a great first week. We hope that you have an enjoyable and safe weekend.